We've had a large temperature drop overnight. Uh, the uh, Weather Bureau has predicted that we would have a, a, a rush of cold southern air come in and we have had that and this morning at about 6am it was 5 degrees C which is really quite cold really for us here in Brisbane. But it's interesting to see how much the water temperature drops in the tanks overnight. Now we record the water temperature in our log and uh, we, we know yesterday that this particular um, fish tank was at 19.7 uh, when I when I last took it and today we'll see what it is. So we've got here a nice little temperature gauge which is handheld, it's digital, it does two things, it does temperature and it also does EC or electrical conductivity. We're not interested in EC this morning, we're only talking about temperature. We can see now that right now because I don't have it in the water it's registering the air temperature which is at 16 degrees C and so now we'll put it in the water and we'll see what we get. We've got to allow a bit of time for it to settle down we can't just stick it in and get an instant reading. It'll take a little while to settle down. And it's settling down now. And it's settled to... It's still settling. It's settled to 14.1 degrees. So there's been quite a drop of water temperature overnight. So some of our other tanks, in fact most of our other tanks, we have permanent um, electronic digital uh, thermometers fitted to them so we can just walk past and read the temperature and record it. But there's a few tanks outside the greenhouse, for example, that we don't have permanent um, ones in them. But this time of the year, it's important to take the water temperature, particularly for those people in Australia who are keeping jade perch, because jade perch do not like uh, the water temperature to go below 15 degrees C. Um, sometimes they'll survive it okay, but mostly you're inviting difficulty because it causes the fish to be stressed and stressed fish can get sick. So that's what we're doing this morning. And we're going to have to implement in some of these outer tanks this morning, we're going to have to implement some water heating uh, regime, uh, electrical heaters probably, be the easiest one for me to do this morning. And we'll get the water temperature up to above 18. We like to have it between 18 and 20 if we can organize that. This is one of our larger systems. This particular tank is 2,300 litres and uh, has got a lot of water volume in the whole system, probably about 4,000 litres. But you can see the temperature here. This particular tank has dropped 3 degrees C overnight, which is quite a bit. It's steady at 14.2. Now we're going to apply an electric heater to this today uh, because we've got a, even though we've got a bright sunny day today, the temperature probably won't pick up again three degrees. That's the problem. It might pick up two and a half degrees on its own and then t the next night it'll drop another three degrees. So overall you've got a half a degree drop of temperature every day until it settles down at a temperature that is too low for our jade perch. So there we can see what happens with just a, a cold overnight snap. Mind you, the days leading up to this, we've had a progressive drop in temperature. Uh, only three or four days ago, the water temperature in the tanks was at 23 degrees, which is very nice, thank you very much. But it's progressively dropped down to about 20, and now we can see we're getting quite low. We need to do something to rectify it. We probably should have put electric heaters in yesterday, but here we go, we'll put them in today, and we'll pick the temperature up a little bit. This is our largest experimental floating raft system, and it's got just over 20,000 litres of water circulating in the system. Now, interestingly, the temperature of this system has only dropped one degree overnight. And that's mainly because of the much larger water volume that's in play. The smaller the system, the more instability you have in both water temperature and pH. Now, that's really interesting. Also, what helps this is that all our floating raft beds are completely insulated. The sides and the bottom have foam under them. And of course, we've got our 50 millimetres or two inches of, of raft on the top. So the, the, this entire body of water that's in the beds at any given time is completely insulated. So the only temperature loss we're going to have then is really on the surface of the fish tank and the sump. Because remember, temperature loss or gain is mostly at the surface of the water. It definitely helps to insulate the fish tank and all around it, but the majority of heat loss is through the surface.